Saturday Morning Tunes TV is presented by Race Pace Bicycles and made possible in part by Garrison Forest School, Cool Progeny, Luminous Solar, and Port Discovery Children's Museum. Dude, it's time for Saturday Morning Tunes TV! Saturday, Saturday morning, Saturday, Saturday morning, Saturday morning, Saturday, 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 Saturday morning, Saturday morning. Television. Hello and welcome. Hey everybody and welcome to Saturday Morning Tunes TV. I'm your host Sam Sessa and this is the puppet edition of Saturday Morning Tunes TV. This is a little guy I made a couple days ago. I'm calling him Shmoo. What's up Shmoo? Hey. He's got a bunch of different voices like that one and then also like What's up? I like that. That's a good one. I'm going to show you how I made him in just a minute, but first I want to tell you some of the cool stuff that's coming up this time on Saturday Morning Tunes TV. Landis Expandis is going to show us how to paint a finger puppet. Lisa Matthews is here. She's brought some of her friends from Red Yarn. They're awesome. They've got a cool song about jumping for joy, which also involves puppets. And we're going to hear from the Baltimore Rock Opera Society. I love the Baltimore Rock Opera Society. Me too. And Speaking of making puppets, our first video is from Black Cherry Puppet Theater, and it's about how to make a simple finger puppet in your home. This guy I made out of a sock, and I hot glued on a button, two googly eyes for his eyes, and then this is like a piece of a paper towel that I put on top, glued it on there, and put some yarn coming out of it. So he's got some hair going on here too. And oh wait, what's that? Coming up later on, we're gonna get to meet my son, Smoo Jr. All right, our first video today is from the Baltimore artist and puppet maker, Jennifer Strunge. She and the rest of the folks at Black Cherry Puppet Theater have a whole bunch of different videos about how to make your own puppets at home. And they're really great. You should totally check these out. Here's Black Cherry Puppet Theater right now with how to make your own finger puppet at home. I'm going to show you how to make your own paper tube puppets. Using just toilet paper rolls and a few other simple materials, you can make your own cast of characters to put on a puppet show. Meow. You will need toilet paper rolls, scissors, a glue stick, things to color with, markers work best, and some small scraps of colored paper. Taking your first toilet paper roll, you're going to draw two lines going down the length of your tube, about one and a half inches apart, and one inch deep. Now, using a horizontal line, you're going to draw across the back of your puppet connecting those two lines. And using your scissors, you're going to cut along those lines to cut that shape out. That tab now sticking up will be the face and the front of your puppet. So at the back of your puppet, draw a line going down and then a horizontal line going across till you get to about where the face is on the front of your puppet. And do the same thing on the other side. These will become the arms of your puppet. So with your scissors, cut down in the center back and then across until you get to the front of your puppet. There's one arm and do the same thing on the other side. If you accidentally cut too far, you could use a piece of tape to reattach your arm. Now to make your head less of a square, you're going to trim the corners off of the top to make it a little bit more rounded. And it's looking more like a puppet already. So now we're going to add some features. 
This one is a person, so I'm going to give it eyes, a nose, a mouth, and a little shirt, and maybe some pants, and some little fingers, and sleeves, and now I'm going to use my markers and crowns to color it in. And now I'm going to use some of that scrap paper to pick out some hair. Now let's go with red. So I'm going to cut out a half circle shape, whatever shape I need to fit behind the head so some of it's peeking out so you can see it. And I use my glue stick to get that in place. I'd say that looks pretty cute. I could leave it just like that. Or if you want to take it a step further and have some more hair sticking off of your head, you could. I'm making two almond shapes to add on my puppet so they look kind of like pigtails. If you wanted to go a step further and make it more complex, you could even add little bangs. So I cut a rectangle and then I make a little fringe with my scissors. Again, you don't have to get this detailed, but you can if you want. You can make your hair look however you'd like. You could even cut a piece out of a magazine if you don't have any construction paper, or you could just color your hair on your puppet. Now I'd say this one looks about done. It's ready to become a puppet on my hand. If I want to make an animal or a different kind of creature, I could cut the top of the head a bit differently. I'm going to turn this one into a cat by adding two triangle ears on either side of the head and cutting them out. And on this one, I tried cutting out a little gap in between his legs, and he still stands up. So now I'm going to draw his features little cat eyes, a nose and a mouth, and then I'll add some pattern and color. If you need something extra, I could use a scrap paper to draw a tail and cut it out and fold a small tab at the end of your tail to put the glue on. Squeeze it in place against your tube, and it's all set. Saturday morning. Hi, I'm Smooth Junior. What's your name? Great name. I would like to tell you some stuff about myself. I like to eat ice cream, but always healthy food first. And climb up trees, but not too high. And play games, especially stack up. Bye. Wait, I think there's something I forgot. Wait. Bye. Hey, Samir. Come here, buddy. Got a surprise for you. Hey, wow, bud. Check cool. this out. Awesome. This is a brand new bicycle. Big kid bike. Just picked it up for you this morning from Race Pace Bicycles. That pesky neighborhood kid who lives next door is gonna be super jealous. Look at this, man. Off-road tires, 18 gears. It's even got a little purple bell on the side of it. You like it? Yes, I love it. Come here, buddy. I want to tell you something. Look, once you learn how to ride a bicycle, no one can ever take that away from you. It's a skill you're going to know your whole life, and I can't wait to teach you how to ride a bicycle for the first time. It's great father-son bonding time, buddy. Think of all the places we're going to go, too. Like, we're gonna go on the trails, we're gonna go riding bikes through the parks. I can't wait. I'm so glad, buddy. Here, why don't you try this thing out? Hey, come back here, you! Let's go get this! Ah! All right, next up on Saturday Morning Tunes TV, we're gonna have a video from the Baltimore Rock Opera Society. Dude, do you like the Baltimore Rock Opera Society? Yeah, I think they're great. <laughs> yeah, they're great, dude. What was that all about? Oh, I just had a 
frog in my throat. <laughs> so this video is from the Baltimore Rock Opera Society's production called Welcome to Shakespeare. And I want to tell you a little bit about it before we start watching it. The good guy is called Betty. She is our hero. She's a songwriter who got sucked through a portal, a magic portal. And she wound up in this world called Shakespeare. And everybody who lives in Shakespeare is a puppet. So right in this video, she's trying to rescue her friend Jimmy, who had his brain zonked by the evil deputy mayor. Let's watch. are all here. If I had to look for you after all that. Uh, but did, did you just come it's from a- It's a long story. <sighs> oh, Bunny. I wish you would cheer up a bit. Oh, I know, I know. So much is going on. Hi, friends. Bunny is, is just not feeling very happy today. Yeah, I know, I know. What with the pandemic, right? You're feeling scared. And it's gone on a while. Oh, yes, I know. Lots of things going on in the world. Oh, oh well, you know what? Sometimes, sometimes you just have to think happy thoughts, right? Right? And maybe our friends can help. And, and, <laughs> oh, hi, Froggy. Hi, Froggy. How are you doing? I'm good, but it doesn't look like uh, Bunny's so good. No, no, Bunny. Bunny is not, um, not feeling very happy today. Well, Bunny, you know, when I'm not happy, I just jump. <laughs> you jump? Yeah, I jump for joy. <laughs> You're jumping for joy? 
You know, it makes me feel better. Oh, well, Froggy, <laughs> that's a great idea, Bunny. Can you try to jump? Jump for joy? Oh, I know, I know. How about some music? Um, my friend, in fact, Red Yarn, who I play a lot on Young at Heart because their music is so great, Andy Ferguson and his wife, Miss Jessie, just released an amazing record called Backyard Bop. And on that record, they've got a song called Jump for Joy. Mm-hmm, yeah. Maybe we can try it. Can we jump for joy? I'll pl how about we? How about we visit with Andy and Miss Jessie, and they can sing us a song. I want you to practice. Are you ready? Okay, count of three. And friends out there, hi puppy, and friends out there, do it with us, okay? We're gonna jump for joy. Count of three. One, two, three. Jump, <laughs> yeah! Jump for joy! Doesn't that feel better? <laughs> puppy, puppy, puppy loves Bunny. And, and Froggy too. <laughs> okay, here's Red Yarn <laughs> with Jump for Joy. <laughs> Well, the other day, I met a little bunny. She said, listen, man, don't you think it's funny? Have so many folks just want to sit around on morning and more about what gets them down. You got to stand right up. You got to raise your voice. You got to get up with me and jump for joy. You got to rise and shine. You gotta make some noise Oh, dance with freedom And jump, 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 jump And the other evening I heard a little bullfrog With scratches singing That sweet love song Said it don't matter If you're loud or quiet if you sing your love out, nobody can deny it. You gotta stand right up. You gotta raise your voice. You gotta get up with me and jump for joy. You gotta rise and shine. You gotta make some noise. Oh, dance with freedom and jump, 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 jump. Voice, get up with me and jump for joy. Oh, rise and shine and make some noise. Oh, dance with freedom and jump, 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 Smooth Jr. Next up is painting with Landis Expanders, my favorite! And now it's time for painting with Landis. Oh, hi. I'm glad you could join me today. My name's Landis, and I'm a painter. 
I was just about to make a painting of a finger puppet. As you know, a finger puppet is a little puppet that you can put on your finger, just like that. And if you don't know where to find a finger puppet, you could just draw a picture on your thumb. <laughs> so we're gonna need a hand, and then what should we make the puppet? Tiger? Dog? Elephant, that sounds good. Elephant. An elephant finger puppet. How do we do that? First, we look at our own hand and we see four fingers on this side and a thumb in the middle. That shouldn't be too hard, right? I have some black and white paint here. You can use crayon or marker or colored pencil or what else? What do you have? Mustard? Don't paint with mustard. That's, that's too messy. Actually, you could paint with mustard if you want. I'm not going to tell you how to make your painting. Four fingers. Two, three, four. You see? Fingers coming out like little sausages. Fingers are a lot like sausages. In shape only. Three. And four. How's that? How's yours looking? Kind of weird, right? Maybe let's put some fingernails on them. So they look like fingers. Is that right? What else? My hand has a line right here in the middle. Makes it look like a hand. Comes out like that. And then, the outside of the hand. And a little swoopy line under here for the bottom of the hand. Good so far? A wrist. Two lines coming this way. Easy peasy. Now we do the elephant finger puppet on top of the thumb. You see where I'm going with this? There's something on the thumb and it's made out of maybe cloth or plastic. I don't know what finger puppets are made out of. Do you have one? Here's the ear, elephant ear. Also looks kind of like a dog ear at this point. Here's the head. Elephants have kind of pointy heads, I think. Then again, so do dogs. How are we going to make this not look like a dog? Let's make a big elephant trunk. That's not how elephants sound, is it? I don't know. Big elephant trunk, right? And then elephants have tusks that come out like that. Is that about right? And then we finish, we do a mouth.
What's missing? The eye. That's a pretty detailed finger puppet there. Let's do a little button eye since it's a puppet. It's probably one of those little plastic googly eyes. Do you have any googly eyes at, at home? Plastic googly eyes. How's that? An elephant finger puppet. Now what should we do? Maybe add a little color this time? Let's see what we have. What should we do? Gray? Purple? Pink? I was going to say pink too because I have it right here, see? So I'll just add some of that to my canvas. And grab my paintbrush. Let's see what we can do here. I'm just going to put a little bit right... What? It was a big canvas, right? That looks a little smaller to me. Anyway, I'm just going to take some paint and just put it right... What? No. What? No. What? No. What? No. What? What? No. What's going on? Does anybody know what's going... Oh, okay. I'm so embarrassed. I thought it was pink paint. It's really shrink paint. Anyway, I hope yours came out well. Thanks for joining me. Okay, bye. This has been Painting with Landis. Shrink paint? Oh man, I want some shrink paint, especially when I have to eat something that I don't really want to eat, but it's healthy, so I could put some shrink paint on it and make it really small, then just go <laughs> And that's it, I'm done. That would be awesome. Hey, I've really had so much fun with you on Saturday Morning Tunes TV, the puppet episode, meeting Shmoo and Shmoo Jr. and everybody else, Black Cherry Puppet Theater, the Baltimore Rock Opera Society. This has been so much fun. And I'm looking forward to seeing you next time right here on Saturday Morning Tunes TV. See ya. Yep, yep. Saturday, Saturday morning, Saturday, Saturday morning. Saturday morning, Saturday, 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 Saturday morning, Saturday morning, Saturday morning, Television. Saturday Morning Tunes TV is presented by Race Pace Bicycles and made possible in part by Garrison Forest School, Cool Progeny, Luminous Solar, and Port Discovery Children's Museum.